initiate man in the middle attacks. We are one of the few cyber engines out there that we actually have man in the middle attacks where you can actually go and you can use a responder and you can poison the network traffic without it affecting anything else except your little network. Uh, we've got phishing attacks where, and, and again, these, these get added in and we add more in each quarter. But for example, there's different phishing attacks. No, it's not just sending an email. Sometimes you're going to have to do some OSINT, you know, intelligent gathering and find out who this target is. What are they, you know, what do they like? What are, what are their hobbies and things like that? And so you're going to have to especially craft, craft especially, especially designed email in order for them to actually open it up and click on the link. Sometimes you'll need to uh, attach a malicious PDF or a executable, whatever the case may be. But so again, it's it's not just standard none of the mobile phishing attacks. We've got supply chain attacks. We've got web application attacks, uh, CVEs. So here we have all the CVEs, you know, that in the past 24 months or so that have come out that are fair, you know, mid-level to high impact uh, CVEs. So you're not going to find, you're not going to find, you know, a CVE that's tied to a piece of PHP code, you know, on software that nobody really uses. Uh, you're going to find things here that you will most likely encounter in your, in your day to day operations. Uh, then we have the extra category. And so this one is where we we get you access to the latest and greatest exploits as quickly as possible. Uh, we got the XZ backdoor that got added in last week. That's a that's a fantastic example. I mean, we the the whole XZ backdoor thing, you know, it, it, it gathered some steam and momentum um last weekend uh or, or the week prior, and we basically got it into in here as quickly as possible. And it's usable. You can exploit it. You can you can experience how this works. We provide all the necessary you know public keys and so forth that are needed. And then we also have a unique one here, the Engine X UI, uh, which was, for lack of a better term, a zero day until a couple of weeks ago when the author actually went and got a CVE assigned. 